Welcome to Arduino Tinkercad simulation series using AI. In this tutorial series, you will be learning how to implement Arduino projects using a Tinkercad simulation tool with a step-by-step -step guidance to understand how to use AI in your design flow and implementing a code for Arduino development board. These tutorials are focused for absolute beginners and intermediate learners. So let's get started. Globally, the requirement for embedded system engineers are rising along with the VLSI industry. As a semiconductor boom, every industry, every country wants to build their own team and technology to build a career in the embedded system and IoT technology. Nonetheless, AI technology is adding to that entire growth, making it a wonderful opportunity for the next generation. That's where you need to learn about embedded system, especially if you are from engineering background and specifically if you are from circuitry background, for example, EC or END department and related departments. Now, if you want to learn about embedded system, you have to do two things. One is building a hardware on the breadboard or maybe on the tag board, just to make sure that whatever code you are writing should be working on the real time implementation. And the second part is to make sure that the entire system is set up so that whenever you write a code, you can deploy it on the hardware and start working with it. This is little complicated and costly as per the student perspective. Also, it requires a circuit understanding. And if you make one small mistake while connecting the component, your entire hardware will blow up. That's where the simulation tools comes into the picture. For example, Tinkercad is one of the platform which is free to use and open for everyone to access with all the components inside that. It is not only for circuit designing, it is also suitable for mechanical designing and also learning the coding activities. Tinkercad is owned by Autodesk, which is offering a various components inside a simulation environment where you can create a circuit and experiment with the different technology and circuitries. However, in this tutorial series, we are going to explore Arduino platform and Arduino framework, integrating various sensors and actuators with Arduino development board and writing a code for that particular circuit. That's where the Tinkercad comes into the picture with the help of simulation capabilities. However, we are going to use AI tools like a ChatGPT and Perplexity Pro to make it more efficient and more relevant for the next generational career opportunities. So let's do it together. Now let's talk about the second point that is all about what we are going to cover in this entire tutorial series. We're going to divide this entire tutorial series into three parts. One is beginner level, second one is intermediate and third one is of course advanced one. First one which is all about beginner level, in that we are going to cover about how to interface basic components like a switches, IR sensor, ultrasonic sensor and other components with the Arduino Uno development board and writing a code for that. In intermediate level, we are going to go a little bit deeper and understand how the higher level sensors and higher level actuators are interfaced with the Arduino development board. For example, seven segment display, I2C LCD display, servo motor, DC motor, and so on. In the advanced level of this particular course, we are going to implement a real time projects as much as possible to make it more relevant to the real time execution. Even you can use the real-time components with the real Arduino Uno development board and bring up the entire circuit on the table to fire up your entire project with the creativity. The most important question everyone asks is why and how we are using the AI tools in this entire tutorial series, which is very common and very easy for anyone to guess. Of course, you guessed it right away. We are going to generate an AI code for this entire tutorial activity. However, it is optional. Yes, you heard it right, it is optional. In fact, I recommend you to learn and design your own code at the initial stage so that you will become a professional and independent developer for the embedded system rather being dependent on AI tools. Because in tomorrow case, if you are not provided with the AI tool, how you are going to serve the industry as an embedded system engineer. So that's why make sure that you understand everything and use AI tools as an assistance not as a mentor or not as a dependency for the development of Arduino codes. These tutorials are built for beginners who want to learn about embedded system. If you are in a college or a student in a school, no matter where you are studying, it is all relevant to you if you are interested to know how embedded systems are designed, developed and manufactured in industry. 
We are using a basic components like Arduino development board and Arduino framework. However, the foundation for embedded system remains same. We focus more on career opportunity with the embedded system engineering concepts rather than focusing on the Arduino framework. That's why it is relevant to those who have a creativity and curiosity to learn and explore the field of embedded system. Now this brings us to the next question that is prerequisite for this particular tutorial series. Of course, there are certain prerequisite which is very essential for you to know before starting with these tutorial series. First one is basics of electronics. You must understand how exactly component works, how exactly those components are connected on the circuit so that you can connect them while doing the simulation activity. If you are interested, you can learn these basics of electronics by our tutorial series on linked frequency. In the description, I have mentioned the playlist link. Second part is you must be very well thorough with the embedded C programming or maybe the basic C programming. Of course, if you are a learner and learning right now, you can explore our basics of C programming course in linked frequency, which link is again in the description. But you have to go through those particular tutorials before jumping into this one, because we are going to focus on developing the circuit and simulating it rather than explaining how exactly these codes are coming from. If you are also aware of how Arduino framework works and Arduino programming works, what are the APIs used in Arduino development activity, then that is an add-on. If you are not aware of that, then again, my another tutorial for Arduino for absolute beginners in linked frequency is going to help you. Link for that particular tutorial is also in the description. After doing all this chaos, you will be arriving at the clarity where you will be taking away how to develop embedded system using Arduino framework as the takeaway from this course. Of course, not to mention, you will learn how to simulate the circuit, how to interface the components and how to write a code which is not just working but also professionally that never fails. Of course, using these entire technology and tutorial series, you will be learning more than that but these are the fundamental takeaways from our side promised to you. I believe you are going to learn and enjoy the entire process of building your own embedded system using Arduino development board, Arduino framework and also a Tinkercad simulation tool with the help of AI. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency and share it with someone who may need it. See you again in the tutorial series. Until then, tune yourself to make a difference.